the New Year Handicap Chase is next. This is a Grade 3 Handicap. We're over the two mile five furlong trip again. And we're still at Chilton and the rain's coming down as well. Sapphire and Stills at the top four. Martin Dillon with Shooting Star. Graham Clutterbuck, Western Warmth, Darren Thompson. Trick Fantasy, Leon Van Rinsburg. Verglass, Alex Cherry. Quantum Leap, Paul Rhodes. Satic on Chips, David Robertson. Countess Zenyatta for Paul Rhodes. Max, Alex Cherry. Dimwit, Craig Beckwith. And Patrick Hogan's got the bottom pair. Eyes of an Angel and Scintilla. Both making their first handicap appearance. So a dozen of them then in this one. Again, this will be a pointer to that burn group plate. I would think they're away and racing, although one or two of them may fancy an outside tilt at the right out, but we'll see in a couple of weeks as they race down towards the first flight then. First flight, first fence. And an arrow formation headed by Scintilla leads them over the first. Mistake by a couple of them, including David Robertson's Satic on chips in the turquoise and maroon hoops and the grey Countess Zanyatta is subsequently out of shot when they get to the second. I will safely over that, although Satic on chips was a little bit slow again. And Scintilla has gone on into a clear lead at the third. Mostly over that one, another mistake at the back by Countess Zanyatta. Right, Scintilla has settled down in front from Trick Fantasy in second. Then the Graham Clutterbuck horse Shooting Star is next. With Western Warmth, the Eyes of an Angel in that little group. And they're quite tightly packed with the exception of the leader and the back marker. Well, at this point, as they race into the straight for the first time, and Scintilla is clear by four or five. To stable mate Eyes of an Angel is now through into second. As they get over the fourth, with Satic on chips. Now moving up on the outside, jumping much better there. And then on the rail, Trick Fantasy as they get over the fifth. And Satic on chips really attack that fence. And has come out of it a clear second. And Scintilla continues to lead. From Satic on chips second. It's probably going to pull in towards the fence before too long. As they get over the sixth again, Satic on chips really attack the fence, got away from it well. Seems to have learnt from those earlier mistakes. But Scintilla will take us past the big screen, past the winning post, swing out left handed then for a full circuit of Presbury Park. And Scintilla in the yellow and black is in the lead. From Satic and Chips has now moved across to the rail in second. Then in third place is the leader, Stable Companion, Eyes of an Angel. Sapphire and Steel is four, and then Verglass is five on the inside of Stable Mate Max. Then on the outside is Dimwit, with after that one, Western Warmth and Quantum Leap. And then up the inside of that one, Trick Fantasy has lost its place and has dropped towards the back with Countess Zenyatta, who was making mistakes early on. So they're all safe now with that one then. The fence they take on the away or they're running away from the stand they're now racing towards the water jump and scintilla is the leader slow jump over the water by sapphire and steel eyes of an angel the leader stable companion has now moved through into second static on chips on that one's inside on its outside verglass as they get to this ditch which they're all safely over countess zenyatta still just a back marker but it's Zinta scintilla who leads into the 11th over that one nicely Western Warmth has now jumped through into second. Satic on Chips is third, and then Eyes of an Angel, Sapphire and Steel, Quantum Leap, and Verglass are still there as well. And the shooting star going to try and come around the outside. Trick Fantasy is trying to get closer as to his max as they get over the 12th. Count it as Zenyatta, the Grey's next, and Dimwit has dropped right out of it. I don't know there's something to miss with that one. Dimwit seems to have dropped right out the back. But in the Western Warmth, then, has now gone on into the lead. From Scintilla and Sapphire and Steel as they race downhill and into the final six furlongs now. And Scintilla has regained the initiative from Western Warmth on the outside. Then Eyes of an Angel. Dimwit has indeed been pulled up at the back. Sapphire and Steel was nearly down at that one but recovered. And Scintilla's in front from Western Warmth in second. These two being chased now by Trick Fancy who's moved through into third. Then comes Eyes of an Angel. Verglass. Quantum Leap is still there. Satic on chips. Trying to get going again on the inside. They get over the 15th. They've only got two more to take there now. And Scintilla is in the lead still by about two lengths. Western Warmth who's being hard ridden in second. Then 
in comes Trick Fantasy, static on chips after that one, and then Eyes of an Angel, Quantum Leap, and Verglas still there as well, Sapphire and still trying to run on again, but they've got two more fences to take in the straight, and Scintilla, the bottom weight, is three lengths clear off Trick Fantasy in second, then comes static on chips and Eyes of an Angel over the second last they go, really good jump by the horse in second, Trick Fantasy, who's closing on the leader, Scintilla's in front by two, this is the final fence, over it they go, and a really good jump by Scintilla, pulled away in there, Scintilla, Satic on chips, trying to get into second, Trick Fantasy battling back, the lead is beginning to tire, Scintilla's in the lead, here comes Trick Fantasy and Satic on chips, and Trick Fantasy is getting up on the outside, Satic on chips trying to close, but Trick Fantasy is going to be another one for Leon, as they race up towards the line, Trick Fantasy takes it, Satic on chips is second, then Scintilla and Western Wolf, and Eyes of an Angel and Verglas, Sapphire and still nowhere today, then Max and Shooting Star, and all the way back to Quantum Leap and Countess in Yatta, the Paul Rhodes pair, coming in at the back with Dimwit, the only one to fail to complete. And it's Trick Fantasy, another one for Leon Van Rensburg. Satic on chips for David Robertson was second, Western Warmth, Darren Thompson third, and Hadrian Kogan was fourth and fifth with longtime leader Scintilla and Eyes of an Angel. <laughs> 